As you can see behind me, uh, there's some fantastic work going on here by this landowner in establishing his gullies and his steep uh, erosion prone uh, slopes into native forest. But that doesn't come easy. It's very expensive planting natives, as we all know, and it's critical that you get the basics right, such as you know getting a good fence in here uh, and make sure you keep your domestic stock out, as well as getting the right mix of species, the spacing, doing the site preparation, uh, doing the weed control, all of that sort of thing. Now the, the only way to tell whether you really are um, uh, meeting all those commitments to get that to get a successful planting is really to do monitoring so I'm pretty passionate as a scientist in this field for over 40 years at uh, encouraging landowners to monitor what they are planting and that gives you an opportunity to uh, find out well what are the issues that are causing failure and it gives you an opportunity to try and address those those issues monitoring also uh, gives you data very important data to feed feedback to the people that are supporting you, the funders. If you can demonstrate to them that your trees, the shrubs and the trees that they are supporting are actually doing well after planting and, the, and eventually this area is turning into a high native forest, uh, well that, that means uh, they are confident that their funding, their support is actually doing good. And it also means that when you reapply for more uh, native plantings and support, uh, you've got a good chance of saying, hey, I've got a good track record of, uh, of spending your money uh, wisely and making sure that uh, we are getting native forests. So, so the challenge for us um, here at Tane's Tree Trust and, and at Trees That Count is to come up with an easy method for monitoring uh, native trees that anyone can do. Um, and we can have it at all various levels from just looking over the fence and doing some quick inspections through to taking some photographs, you know, before and after photographs is a great idea. But those, you know, a lot of those are sort of visual inspections, uh, quite subjective. What you need to do, particularly for large scale plantings, is being able to quantify the success. And so we've, we've come up with a couple of ways in which landowners, community groups, iwi, schools, uh, councils, whoever's planting to be able to go into their, in, into their recently planted area, such as right on the top of that hill over there, and determine what is the success rate by species and site over the first one to five years after planting. And why is, it, why is that time period critical? Because that's when most native plantings fail, over the first five years. So this monitoring system that we've developed, which you can see online on our Tarnas Tree Trust and Trees That Count website, is really there to give you an idea what is the early survival, the success of the performance within the first five years of your plantings. So we, we would encourage you to look for the other, for the, for the follow-on videos from here, which will explain to you how to do very simple but scientifically robust ways of actually monitoring your plantings.